Hello everyone, Shreyan here. So today in this video we are going to discuss one very important question that can we override the main method in Java or not? Okay. So let's start. So first I will talk about what is method overriding and then I will explain you that uh, can we override the main method on not. Okay. So what is method overriding? So method overriding may be defined as when the same method has been defined in the child class as that of the parent class right so in the parent class as well as in the child class method will be same and their arguments will also be same so this is nothing but the method overriding and uh, for method overriding inheritance concept is prerequisite so if there is a inheritance between the parent and the child class then only method overriding is possible okay so let's uh, move to eclipse id and then i'll start with the you know coding part and uh, it will be more clear so what i will do is uh, i will create the parent class okay so this i have created one class parent and in this parent class i will create one main method okay so this is the main method and i will try to print uh, one statement let's say inside parent class okay so I have created a parent class and in that I have created a main method and I have given one print statement. Okay. So what I will do is I will create one more class that will be the child class. Okay. So this is the child class and it is extending the parent class. Okay. So in the child class also I have given, I have created child class which is extending the parent class and I have defined one main method and inside this child class I am printing inside child class okay so what I will do is so uh, it looks like that uh, there is a method overriding here right so this is the this is uh, the main method in the parent class and this is the same method we have defined in the child class also right so it looks like a method overriding guys but actually it is not method overriding okay static method there is no concept of method overriding guys this we have to remember so this is method hiding and not method overriding okay so in case of static methods what happens is there is no concept of method overriding static methods cannot be overridden but if we are defining the same method right if you are defining the same method whatever we have defined in the parent and that method is static and if you are defining the same in the child class also and we are marking it that method as a static then in that case that will be a method hiding guys and that will not be a method overriding so method hiding means uh, the method which we have defined in the child class this method hides the method in the parent class okay so this child class method which we have declared hides the method of the parent class okay so what I will, do, I will prove this point and for that I will create one more class okay so I will create a class let's say main and inside main class I will again create the main method okay so this is the main method and inside the main method now what I will do is I will uh, create three object let's say parent p is equal to new parent okay and uh, let's say i will call p dot main okay so main method is accepting string array so we have to pass the string and we have to pass some size of the string let's say five okay guys so now what will happen so what happens is in case of static method compiler only checks for the reference type okay so this is really important guys uh, in case of static method compiler will only check the reference type whether the reference type is of parent or child so what happens is in line number 19 i have created the object of parent class and in case of static method compiler will check the reference type and reference type is of type parent okay so compiler will decide that which method has to be called so in case of in this case the reference is of type p so 
parent class main method will be called okay guys so if i run the main class so you can see that parent class main method has been called okay so now what i will do is i will create two more objects let's say parent p1 is equal to new child and let's say child c is equal to new okay guys so i will call with the reference p1 dot main and let's say same string i will pass same string array <clears throat> okay guys so now what will happen is as i said in case of static method compiler will only check the reference type compiler doesn't care about the object what type of object is there right compiler will only check for the reference type so in uh, line number 20 we can see that the reference type p1 is of type parent right so in this case also when we are calling the method using p1 reference okay so compiler knows that the reference type is of type parent so at runtime uh, the method of the will be called because the reference p1 is of type parent right so and in this case also line number 21 reference is of type child so in this case when we are calling the uh, method using c reference so in that case child class method will be called okay so this is very important guys that uh, in case of static method compiler will only check for the reference type based on the reference type it will call the method of the i mean at the runtime uh, corresponding uh, method will be called based on the reference type so in line number 19 uh, p p is a reference type of type parent in line number 20 p1 is a reference type of parent and in 21 c is a reference type of child of type child right so when we are calling the method using c reference in that case child class static method will be called and in this case in this line number 22 and 23 since the reference type is of parent right p and p1 are the reference uh, are the parent type so in that case parent parent class method will be called okay so in this case parent class method will be called as p is of parent type okay so in line number 23 also as p1 is of type parent type and in this case child class right as c is of type child class okay so the summary is based on the reference type compiler will at compile time only it will be decided that which method will be called okay guys so let me rerun this so i will run as java application and uh, i will run the main so you can see that in this case line number for line number 22 inside parent class we are getting the output for line number p1 for uh, p1 dot main line number 23 in this also we are getting the output as parent class right and for line number 24 you can see the output is inside child class okay guys so for static methods there is no concept of overriding and if we are defining the same method in the child class as that of the parent class so it will be a method hiding guys and it will not be method overriding okay and based on the ref so for static method only guys it this rule is not for non static method so for static method compiler will uh, compiler will only check the reference type if reference type based on the reference type it will call the method from the corresponding class okay guys so remember that in case of static method method overriding is not possible and method hiding is method hiding is applicable okay so let me go to ppt and you can see that method hiding so in case of method hiding all rules of method hiding are exactly same as overriding except the following differences so what are the differences 
so differences are in case of method overriding both parent and child class method should be non static but in case of method hiding both parent and child class method should be static right so in our example in this case both the methods right are static only okay so this is nothing but the method hiding okay guys so this is method hiding and not method overriding and second point is method resolutions is always takes care by java virtual machine based on the runtime object yeah so what happens is in case of method overriding at runtime only jvm will decide based on the runtime object okay so what happens is in case of uh, let's say if these methods are non static okay so based on the runtime object right based on the runtime object it will jvm will decide which method has to be called but in case of method uh, hiding method resolution is always takes care by compiler only right based on the reference type based on the reference type so uh, this we have already discussed right so you can see that uh, based on the reference type only we are getting the output right and uh, the third point is overriding is also considered as runtime polymorphism dynamic polymorphism and lid binding but method hiding is also known as compile time polymorphism static polymorphism and early binding so these are the three points uh, for the differences between method overriding and method hiding guys so i hope there is no and uh, this is really uh, important question guys so please uh, check this video and uh, so please uh, like the uh, video if you if you think that this information is useful for you and please share with others also okay guys so thank you guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe the channel to get further videos on core java selenium web driver and web services testing thank you